You had to wipe out all the red people. I mean, it's, we have a very violent history. And the solution has always been we will kill as many people as we have to to establish the place for white people to be. If you look at the foundation of the country, you look at what it became, you look at the economic system it built, the social systems it set up, it was all about somebody's got to be on the bottom. And here's a convenient bunch of people to do it. This social order would be codified by a constitution that allowed slavery to continue in this new land of liberty. In declaring slave blacks as only three-fifths of a person, white supremacy was now the official policy of the United States of America. And this mentality would become truly ingrained in our nation's psyche. From 1789 to 1850, 80% 80 of our presidents owned slaves, eight while serving as president. 18 of the first 31 Supreme Court justices also owned people, and the interests they looked out for and the policies they ruled on would have a lasting impact. So I want to show you something here as well.